What is up guys, gals, new awesome? Awesome means and gamers of different shapes and sizes. It is me, Josh, your proxy, bringing you some more drawn to death today on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and why not subscribe for more drawn to death content in the future, but today showing you some more simple team deathmatch, as I just said on the bottom of the video there, which I think is really cool, that like the game kind of acknowledges what it is, kind of partially breaks the fourth wall, especially with the narrator, and the narrator constantly insults you, which does make me cry a little bit at night, but at the same time, it's really cool, really awesome. It kind of has a little bit of a, and I don't know if this is stereotypical, but it kind of has like a bit of a Deadpool vibe to it. I'm not too sure. You let me know in the comments below what you think to that, but we're also showing you some Diablo gameplay today. Really awesome characters. I've said this pretty much about all of the characters so far. Ninja was awesome. Now we're playing as Diablo, and she feels a little bit like a rogue assassin in her playstyle, which is kind of cool. And so what she ends up happening is that she has her normal attacks and everything like that, you know, using the guns and things. Really fun, really awesome. Using that Tommy gun. I'm finding that I'm actually using the Tommy gun a lot more now because it does really good damage close range, and this game feels very close range. It feels like you really want to be trying to get up close and personal with everybody because if people are hopping around, if people are staying at long distance, it's really hard to get a beat on them, which is one of those things where you want to try and make sure that you're not letting your foe escape while you're doing that damage. But at the same time as that, you also have those unique abilities. Each character has two unique abilities. And they all actually have bunches of special qualities about those abilities too, where some of those abilities are really more effective against specific characters, like Alan, who we're going against here. We actually have two enemy Alans by me, which is, of course, the butt naked Butcher Bear. Actually has better melee damage against Diablo. So it's one of those things where I need to be really careful in this. So I am actually kind of like a assassin DPS in a sense right now. But her own ability is actually really cool and very damage focused as well, where the first one, which is called Crown of Damnation, I'm not too sure what the second ability is called, which is this one here with the whip, but the first ability is where she boomerangs her hat. Really simple ability. She just kind of chucks her hat at the enemy, and it, no matter who it touches, it will do damage, and it even does more damage on the return home, which is a very cool idea. So it's this thing where if you can actually line up those two enemies that you're going against, and then you can get that hat to come back at you, you'll actually potentially do double to triple damage while attacking those enemies with that crown of damnation. The second ability, which you just saw, is a whip tail, a demon whip, I believe it's Called. And this actually has a very unique quality about it, and you probably noticed this when I was using it, is that basically she has this little cone of vision on the floor and it actually changes colour. Now, like a bunch of other characters and their own abilities, Again, they all have special qualities, and so it's this thing where, depending on when you use that ability at the right time, you'll be able to do more damage. So when it comes to Diablo and her demon whip, oh my goodness, I just exploded. But when she uses that whip, if you wait for the right time, you can actually do an immense amount of damage. I believe it's in the red cone, and that'll allow you to do, oh, just, it's, you will see, the, the amount of damage output is crazy. Here we go, look, so you got yellow, orange, and then red, and if I was able to get that enemy in that cone, oh my, you're looking at potentially half health Taken. And so, again, really kind of like good idea to try and stay up close and personal when it comes to fighting the enemies in this game, especially as Diablo. Even Alan, like, oh my goodness, there are two enemy Alans here and they've all got chainsaws. And now remember, they will actually do more damage to Diablo with those chainsaw attacks compared to other characters. You've got to be very careful while playing as her against two Alans. Maybe they knew, maybe they knew I was actually going to pick Diablo and they waited and so they thought, you know what? This guy seems pretty bouncing. This guy seems pretty awesome. Maybe we should just use Alans. I tried to get that health there. Could not get it. This guy's gonna try and deny me here, but I was able to drop down just in time. There are boost pads all over the place, so please be careful when trying to get the items that you want. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just nearly completely screwed it. I had barely any health. It, it was lucky. It was one of those moments, you know. It, it was a round of applause kind of thing. So here we go. We've actually got my tail ready to whip it and smack didn't do as much damage as I would have wanted, so, you know, it, it was still good though, this is the thing, those abilities are completely free to use and they just charge over time, like, that demon whip is back already and I believe it might actually come from just doing casual damage over time, very, very awesome. The other special ability, and you may have noticed it's kind of partially happening throughout the match when I have low health, is something called demon speed. Now this actually allows me to go a lot faster when I'm on low health, which is quite useful as well, so there is this thing, as mentioned, that there is a lot of unique abilities that you have to learn when it comes to all the characters, they feel very mobrish. They feel very unique in their personality, especially through their own abilities. And I really like that. I really appreciate that. And I'd love to know your opinion in the comment section below. We may be needing the end of this match. It seems like we only need one more kill. Going against this Alan right here, using the Quadzook. Oh, denial! Dismemberment. I saw a leg there. I don't know if that was mine, though. I love as well those little emotes. You may notice this on the enemy kill cams. They have these little, like, 
text box kind of things. And it just shows like a an emoji or like a gif or something. I just think that's really cool. That <laughs> happens. We just we need one more kill. Please let me have one more kill. This guy's bouncing around trying to deny me this actual victory. Oh, I'm gonna try and use my demon whip. Can I do this? Oh, we were able to finish that guy off with the demon whip. That was awesome. As I said, really awesome damage, especially if you can get it onto that red cone. But this has been some drawn to death. Me, Josh, AK, Noir Proxy, bringing you it on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Nice victory there as well. Defeating those Allens with my fellow Allen. So many Allens. Just butt naked butcher bears all over the place. <laughs> but, comment section below, let me know what do you think to drawn to death so far. I would love to know. Remember, it is free on PlayStation Plus right now. And also, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and want to subscribe for more drawn to death content in the future. We also unlocked rank mode. Why not? Ciao for now.